am I? Let's go here. Oh boy, I look great on that picture. Wonderful. Okay. I'm really early. It's New Year's Eve. 2020 is almost over. While I'm waiting, I guess I'll get ready and fix my face. That was a rush. Hello, hello. Just wait, I'm gonna fix my brows. I wonder what everyone is doing. Hi, Andrea, how are you? Happy New Year's Eve. How happy are we that this year is almost over? Although, <laughs> it seems like going into 21 is still gonna be a crapshoot. Have you seen the numbers? Excuse me, um, in Ontario, I, I think it was, when was it, Wednesday? We were, like, Tuesday, we had almost 3,000 in 24 hours. Lockdown is gonna be in effect for a long time, I think. I'm just trying to fix my brows here. Hello, people joining the chat. Happy New Year's Eve. What you doing, Miss Andrea? How was your day? Hi, Martine. How are you? How is everyone doing? Can you imagine we're here again, New Year's Eve? Oh, my goodness. Like, this year went slow but fast, too. It's bad, and most of them are in Windsor. Really? I know Toronto is freaking crawling with it. Like, it's nasty in, in Toronto. Um, and the Peel region, which is Brampton, Mississauga. Like, there's a lot of high numbers in there, too. So you guys got a lot of numbers as well. Oh, I wish I had on CP24. I don't. What did you all have for dinner? What Like, what are you doing? Anything special? Just hanging out? I literally, I said to Ian about 30 minutes ago, I could have went for a nap. I was just like, oh, such a long day. Hi, Diana. How are you? Happy New Year's, love. What did you guys have for dinner? Anything exciting happening at your house? Let me just fix my ears. I'm going to throw on some makeup. Actually, you know what I wanted to try? I wanted to try this foundation that um, Allie sent. You haven't eaten yet? Let's see. Awakened. Oh. Uh, Awakened, juicy, fearless, magical. Okay. Juicy, magical, fearless. Awakened might be the only one. I'll try Awakened. It looks like it's the lightest one there. I don't know how light. I don't think these are going to work. Hi, Wheel in Rebel Reviews. How are you? Well, Martine, you had steak and fries. Wheeling Rebel had pizza and cheese steaks. Cheese sticks. Did I just say cheese steaks? I did cheese sticks. Yummy. Oh, Diana, your husband made homemade pizza. Yummy. I did one of those um, chef plates recipes. Uh, we just had, uh, what was it called? A bacon mushroom pasta. I didn't really like it, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to try this one here. Awakened. Let's see. I think that is the cutest sample I've ever seen for foundation. Hi, Sabrina. You're having a Caesar. Good for you. You made shepherd's pie, Sabrina. Yummy. I was in a rush. I didn't even get myself a drink. I got my pop there, but... I'll get Ian in a minute to bring me in something. Hi, Miss Kelly Don. How are you? What did you have for dinner? So I'm assuming everyone's pretty much in the same boat, like staying home, not doing anything. I mean, legally, <laughs> that's what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> 
we're in a complete lockdown. We have, well, my husband's best friend, he lives by himself. Um, <clears throat> so I know, like, if you knew somebody who lived by themselves, that they can be in a bubble with somebody else's house. So we invited him down, but he was like, nah, he's just going to stay home. We're like, cool. Oh, maybe, I don't know, which one am I going to use here? Maybe I'll just try and see which one I think is best. I need a primer. Spinning around the wheels here, trying to find a primer. Come on, Lisa, find a primer. Which one? I think I'm going to use my Illamas Croix primer today. Um, yes, this is Allie, Miss Allie. Okay, that's who you are on YouTube. Okay. You made butter chicken with broccoli and basmati rice. Yummy. That sounds delicious, Kelly. Ian and I, um, and my nephew and Maddie, I don't think Savannah had any, but we grabbed some of those appetizers, you know, that comes in a box from Metro. Um, I think we had like an Asian box of appetizers and then another one that was like cheeseburger and pizza and stuff. Not really good, to be honest. My skin, guys, I'm telling you, that retinol and that it cosmetics cream, it is burning my face up. Like I have bumps around here like I've never had before. Texture on my skin. Um, my skin is all bumpy, like up by my forehead, it's all bumpy and it's all from that It Cosmetics serum with the retinol. I don't know what, I don't know. I think I'm going to stop using it. And yesterday was actually the last night was the first time I put it on and like, oh, I burned myself by the way. That's what that is. That's a burn, an oven burn. Um, I think yesterday was the first time I put it on in three days, four days and over my moisturizer, but it is burning like crazy. And then I find even when I stop using it, when I put on like my Tatcha Dewy moisturizer, especially at night, my skin starts to burn at night. Not in the morning. Like when I get up in the morning, have my shower and put on my regular skincare, my, it's fine. But in the nighttime, it, it's just my, my skin is burning putting on my regular skincare that I do every night. And that's without that retinol stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Um, like I really want to try because I know people have said, you know, you just got to use it and use it and it will burn just, you know, use it once every three, four days and stuff. Oh, your, your hubby's fave, Kelly. Hi, Miss Sandra. How are you? Andre, you know where you send it? I can't believe how many people would, you know, I've had so many offers of people wanting to buy that, um, that serum, that It Cosmetics thingy that we got as a mission. Okay, I'm trying to find a shade from that sample of the Jose Marin Foundation. It looks kind of watery. You see, ooh, I'm thinking it might be a little bit too dark. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with something different. We'll try something different. Ow! Lord, I got an ingrown toenail. I think I told you guys about it. It is getting so much worse. Like, on both sides of my toe, the nail has now curled in so bad. Because usually I'd be able to, like, let it grow out a little bit and then I'd be able to cut it down, right? But now it has, it's literally grown in so bad that, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to go to the doctor and get him to do something with it. Okay, hold on. Um, Martine, you're staying home here with all of you. Oh, nice. Your hubby's downstairs with his PlayStation. Nothing's going on. 2,819 cases here in Quebec. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? I, don't, I think it was a Tuesday when I think I seen on CP24 there was, in 24 hours, there was almost 3,000 cases in Ontario. Like, it's nuts and it's crazy in just about every province, probably except for down east. Um, hi, Cosmic. She's here. You did a chemical pill last night, then the 111 mask after. Your face feels great. Oh, good for you. I think I might try one of those. Um, I think I have those face masks in the fridge. I might try it. Retinol is something you really need to start off at a low concentration. Well, that's what I've been doing. Like, I put it on my face, and four or five days later, I'll put it on again. But... 
I don't like I find with this one because I have the Kate Somerville like pure retinol um, and I'll put it on my face maybe once every two weeks maybe not maybe once a month if I remember to you shake it up it's kind of foamy and that's never done this whatever's going on with my skin now like that Kate Somerville has never done that to my face this serum stuff it's brutal on my skin Hi, Leah. How are you? I have no idea what the concentration is. I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is that this is like the It Cosmetics ones. It's a serum with the retinol, right? And I have the Kate Somerville that's straight up retinol. And that's never happened when I use that. It doesn't cause the same you know things as this it cosmetics one but i'm really like i'm really trying to use it you know um so i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i don't know right oh and then i got an ingrown toenail i swear to god i wake up every morning like i'm 92 rotten and groaning i hate getting up in the morning i hate going to bed at night because when i go to bed at night i know i'm going to get up in the morning and be in all kinds of pain and i'm like this is ridiculous anybody else like that hi michelle how are you ian laughs at me because i'm always grunting and groaning in the morning Okay, what foundation? Maybe I'll try that new one, the Illamasqua one that we got from um, Ipsy. Who is waiting on their Ipsy bags? I think that's the last thing pretty much maybe everyone's waiting on. Or maybe, is there anyone waiting on BoxyCharm? Yeah, I know. I need to get it waited on. Yeah, I need to get it looked at for sure. Because I used to be able to wait for it. To, and even Ian, to, like, it looks nasty absolutely nasty like both sides are like curling in more than it ever did before and I don't all I wear is slippers everybody not tight slippers I don't wear tight shoes I don't wear heels I haven't worn heels probably 10 times since I had Savannah 13 years ago so I'm like I don't know what is going out my feet Kelly you're still waiting for Ipsy oh Andrea you got your Ipsy today awesome Hi, Jen Button. Yes, goodbye to 2020. I think I'm going to be happy when we say goodbye to 2021 because I'm thinking 2022 is going to be a good year. That's what I'm hoping for. This is the Illamas Squad that we got in Ipsy. I'm hoping for 2022 because, I mean, we're going to go, be going through this with COVID for at least the next six months, right? Um, and I think the numbers are going to skyrocket come like the week after the new year the numbers are going to skyrocket because i don't think a lot of people are you know paying attention and staying home and stuff like that and then plus the fact i mean god if you went to the airport right now toronto airport there's so many people coming in and out it's ridiculous you know like we got to shut down the country uh, i don't understand it you know yeah we can all stay home but why are you letting people in the country it don't make sense you got your first boxy charm box, Michelle. Did you like it? What did you get? Your Ipsy has not even arrived in Canada yet, Cosmic Slice. Oh no. Is it um is it like at customs? Like is it has it left the states kind of thing and it's in that left the states waiting to say it's at customs in Canada? You didn't get your December glam bag. Diana didn't. Martine, your December Glossy Box was sent back. Then you bought a box from your sale on the 27th, and that was sent back to you. Oh, wow. And you know what's funny? On our Facebook page today, there was somebody who got there. Oh, no, that, was that Look Fantastic? Oh, that, I think that was Look Fantastic, I think. No, it wasn't. It was Glossy Box. And had got the one that had the um, face mask in it with the CBD oil on it. So it's like, it doesn't make sense, right? Glossy Box also right now has got this sale. I think you can get like two boxes for, I don't know, is it $25 if you're a subscriber? Um, a premium box and just a mystery box, something like that. I've been debating it. I might get it. I got some credits, so I might use some credits and maybe pay like 20 bucks or something for it. If it's still available. 
Uh, Kelly, oh my goodness, you're still waiting for Hello Kitty. No way. Oh my Lanta. That's insane. Oh my God, you ordered that such a long time ago. Cosmic, most people won't even get the vaccine until August, September. So yeah, yeah, right? Like, I think 2021, seriously, I know 2020 has been crappy, but I think 2021 is just going to be a write-off too. I think it's going to be a lot more of this, you know? Um, your Ipsy left Chicago on the 23rd. Wow. That's insane. You might get it, though, because my Ipsy... My Ipsy left on the 18th, and I got it a couple of days ago. So it might be, I'm, I'm finding that they're catching, well, they're probably like two or three weeks behind. So you might start seeing it being processed come um, next week. You ordered it on the 10th. I know, Kelly Don, that's awful. So, and Kelly, it's been sent out. Uh, has it been sent out? Like, have you got tracking for it? The box that you got from the sale was sent back, Martine said. So you guess there was a product inside. Plus, the January box had some CB product in it. Oh, unbelievable. I think it's somebody in the warehouse. It, it's it, I don't know, because I know on our page, somebody had gotten the box with that um, face mask that had the CBD oil stuff in it, right? So I think whoever's working at the warehouse is putting something on the statement, and then some people are boxing it up and not putting it on the statement. It's like, I don't know. They need to get their stuff together. You still haven't received your Sigma brush from Black Friday. Wow, Andrea, did you get your tracking for that? Hope you don't mind. I'm asking here, but do you know where you'd email Naughty Knickers a size up? Yeah, so you go into your account. And, um, oh, Lord, where is it? You can go into your account and just search the frequently asked questions. It sh there should be something there saying contact us. Um, if you remind me later, I can go and look up their email address. You pour, Diana said she pours hydrate peroxide on ingrown toenails. It eases the pain and discomfort. Okay. I might have to try that. Ian told me I should just soak. I'm going to have to soak my feet in like water for two hours to try to get it really soft. You got two skincare products, a lip oil, two eyeliners, and a milk mascara. Oh, that's good. Well, uh, if you're happy with that, that's what you got in your boxy charm. Two skincare, a lip oil, two eyeliners, and a mascara. I guess, you know, to each, if, if you enjoy your box, then that's good for you. If you think it's worth the money, then that's good for you, right? Tracking shows in transit from Calgary. So, wow. That's insane. But, you know, what are we, I, hopefully, Kelly, you get it in the next couple of weeks. Um, Cosmo said, you're looking forward to seeing add-ons. Me too. Me too for the Ipsy bag. And that's, when is that? What is today? Thursday, Friday. Friday is the first, yes, Saturday morning. Okay. It's a good thing you said that, Cosmic, because I, <laughs> I was thinking the second was on Sunday. I would have missed it. Hi, Janet. Hi, Jules. You had an under eye concealer that stung. You had to stop using it. Right? You wonder what was in that to stop, you know, a concealer. You ordered the Complex Culture eyeshadow palette and there was a finger swatch? Oh, no. I would take a picture. Make sure you always have whatever box. Like, when you have to, um, I know you girls know this, but just in case, when you have to contact a subscription box company, something happened with your order or something came broken or it didn't show up make sure you keep the box that it came in that's got your label on it and you take a screenshot of, shot of that because they're going to ask you for that and if you don't have that then they say sorry we just won't process it right soak my feet in really warm almost hot water with 
Epsom salts and antibacterial soap. That's a good idea, Kelly. I got some Epsom salt. Yeah, you did, Andrea, and you messaged them. That's awful. Somebody wasn't doing what their their job properly at the at the warehouse. Okay, Lisa, that's enough foundation. This is a nice foundation. I'm telling you, since I've been using that freaking serum, like my whole skin is whack. The tone is whack. I got blotches everywhere. It's I don't think that's good for me. And I've used other products before that had retinol in it. This one here, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I don't know. I want to stop using it, but then I want to continue using it, you know, because I don't think I gave it a good enough shot. You know what I mean? Like to see how well it works. But right now, it's really messing up my skin. Right. So everyone else, what did you guys have for dinner? You're drinking a new tea tonight and it's nice. What is it called? Years ago, I went to a, um, I worked downtown Toronto. It was for like a real estate company, but it was a real estate company for business offices. It was a really big company that owned a lot of real estate in like big buildings downtown Toronto, right in the financial district. And so when I first joined on, um, they took everybody out for lunch and we went to this fancy, fancy restaurant and they had this tea, I think it was called Blackberry and I've bought Blackberry tea since then, but it's never been the same. And I remember, I think I had three cups of that tea. It was so freaking good. And I've, I've gotten like Blackberry tea before at the grocery store, store and stuff like that, but it's never quite the same oh but this i'll never forget how great that tea was and i didn't like get the company it was from i mean it could have been a fancy company i never heard of before but it was so good am i really um when i look at myself on my phone i'm really fuzzy is it the same for you guys is it really fuzzy or is that just my screen It's called champagne, white and green tea mixed with chunks of peach and salt, sultanas. Okay. Jen, you don't use retinol anymore. It dries your skin up. You use Burt B's Baccholi line. Okay. Michelle said her boyfriend made shrimp and rice and salmon for dinner. He got dressed up. You figured you better get out of your track pants. <laughs> Good for you, girl. <laughs> legit. I legit. I got you. Seriously, I have... Um, PJ shorts on and under this shirt like honest to God I took off what did I have on I had a pair of pajama pants on and I was cooking up until seven o'clock and I was sweating I had the stove on oh my god it was so hot in my kitchen I was debating on getting a shower and I was so hot I came in and I threw on my pajama pants shorts and literally that's what I have I got this shirt on and I got my pajama sh pants shorts on I'm blurry, okay. Hi, just a cutie. Okay, so no fuzziness for Cosmic Slice. Andrea says I'm a little bit fuzzy. Leah says I'm blurry. Kelly says I'm clear. Okay, let me see. If that, does that make any kind of a difference? Because, see, still on my phone, I, like, I'm kind of blurry. Very clear for, for Diana. Okay. Leah, am I still blurry for you? I wonder if I shut it down. Okay, I'm going to shut my thing back down and go back on it again. Hi, Miss Susan. Well, now I got to wait for the ad, you know. Okay, I'm not blurry for you. Okay. What am I going to put on here? Um, a concealer. I'm going to use... Do you guys... Did anyone get this from Ipsy? Um, I know we got it sometime this year. I think it was a choice. 
And I must say, I like it. And I'm not like a fan of Morphe products, but I don't mind this concealer. I just forgot I had it. Man, I tell you, I got so many new bumps growing on my face. I look like um, the witch in the uh, Wizard of Oz. Okay. HRI 100. Hello. Yes, I have a little headband on. You're watching on your phone. You wonder if that makes a difference. Right? Still blurry for Leah. Maybe a few people in your house is using the internet. I know actually, I think only Savannah. Because I know the boys are out watching um, the hockey game. I'm less weird if I'm blurry for, you know, a couple of people, but I'm good for the rest of them. You're also watching on your phone. Okay. Cosmic, you got the Morph concealer. It's not bad, but overpriced for what it is. I always thought Morphe was kind of cheap. Wasn't it cheap? Isn't it cheaper, Morphe? Or is that like the USD price is cheap, but here in Canada, it's expensive. Um, Morph Concealer came in boxy. I don't... No, I think it came in Ipsy. But I could be wrong. It could have came in boxy too. It's your device that's making it blurry. Check your quality setting on the video. It's probably at 350. Okay. Okay, what do I put it on? Because I have one, uh, right now it's on 144p on my phone. I never change the settings on the, um, where I'm recording on that phone. That's always the same. So what should I put it on? It's at 144p. 720, okay. Uh, shoot, where did that go? Quality, okay. 720 and then do I shut it down and go back into it the concealer is 15 bucks okay and yeah we got an ipsy yes right we do get so much stuff don't we Kelly Don Diana said you only get ipsy in top box and you got Morphe from one of them yeah I think it was ipsy it was a choice Andrea said you just put it on auto and now I'm clear okay Oh, it's clear for me now. Okay, I never knew that. Thank you, um, Just a Cutie. Right? Everything is more expensive in Canada, that's for sure. Hi, Tammy, how are you? Okay, let's see here. Oh, Sandra, you just changed the setting to 720 and it helped? Okay. You know, I wonder, um, well, no, see, when I upload a video, the quality shows for me. Because sometimes, if my video is over 25 minutes, then it won't let me do high quality. I have to either go to medium or I have to go to 620 medium. Oh, my God. And if my video is like 32 minutes long, I'm screwed then. Then it's like low quality and another really low number for me to, that's if I go and... I put on my um, intro because then I have to upload that with the intro and I do it on my phone. I should probably just do it on my computer, but I, I don't have time for that. Okay, so it's okay. So everyone, is it working, Leah? Did you change the thing, love? It's clear, yay. Oh, thank you, Just a Cutie. We, we learned something new today. Okay, what am I going to put on now? Um, I was going to put on the Complex Culture, but I think I'm going to leave that and make that as a video. Uh, let's see. i got a bronzer here. Yes, <laughs> it's fixed, everybody. So what is everyone's plan for tonight? Just chilling at home. Um, I literally, <laughs> I've been watching this uh, a K-drama. I found another one. A K drama, so that's what I've been doing the last couple of days is watching a K drama. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Korean drama, K drama. 
Oh my goodness, guys. If you guys want a really good Korean drama to watch, it was the very first one that I watched and it was so funny. It was so good. It's got the subtitles, right? But it was like in one episode, I would laugh like crazy or cry. And it's just, it's amazing how, even though you can't understand the language, but you're reading the subtitles, but the acting is so good. You don't even need to understand what they're saying. Oh, and I think this one was a real famous um, drama, a Korean drama. I can't remember the name of it. But if you wanted to know, I'll find it for you. I think I had sent it. I think it was you, Just a Cutie, maybe I sent it to. I think I sent it to Veronica as well. You're going to set up the book. Andre, you're just going to chill, watch videos. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to um, watch, yeah, probably some more Korean drama. And then if I get bored of that, I'll watch pet rescuing videos on YouTube. I haven't been really paying attention much to YouTube in the last couple of months. Like, I'm behind on so many videos. Um, like, if Rob Beauty Christie put out a video, I watched that one. I always watch her videos. Robert Welsh... If I remember or if I'm like doing my makeup on a Monday, I'll watch his murder mystery. That That's if he posts it when I'm doing my makeup, I'll watch it. And who else? And Jen Loves Reviews. I'll watch her lives on Sundays. And that's legit like the only couple of videos that I'll watch. Um, I've been watching a lot of pet rescues on Facebook or on YouTube. <laughs> I'm just like sitting there all morning long with my tea, bawling my eyes out watching these beautiful little animals. Anyone else like those videos? Janet's going to watch a movie. Sandra, you're already in your PJs. You had a couple of ciders earlier. Now you're going to relax. Good for you. Hi, Sylvie. How are you, sweetheart? You're not working? Martine, you're going to watch all the New Year shows. Oh, yes, that's right, because it's New Year's Eve, isn't it? Right? Um, it was actually Kelly Don's suggestion to put it to 720. Oh, okay, Kelly Don. You just knew that the settings were wrong. I never knew that. Never knew that. Yes, I've seen Jen's video today. I, I haven't... There was one I didn't watch. I think I watched her best... But she put up the worst one maybe yesterday or was it today? I don't know. I haven't watched that one yet. Um, Cosmic, you're listening to a lot of podcasts. Janet said you get stuck on dumpster dives. Okay. Kelly Don, <laughs> thanks, cutie. You're a good team. Yes, you are. Just a cutie, you love K-dramas. Yes, I did send you it. Like, I love that one so much. I want to go watch it over again. And I think there's like, I don't know, 200 episodes or something like that. But I loved it so much, I think I want to go watch it again. Sandra, you're a foster for a couple of dog rescues. Oh, wow. Taking a break because of COVID. Both your dogs are rescues. Well, I would love to do that. Ian and I have talked about it. But winter is, uh, winter is so terrified of dogs. Like when my niece comes over with her dog, he knows. Even before the dog shows up, when we come in, when we take his kitty litter box and his food and put it in our room, wherever he is in the house, the moment he sees me lifting up that box and walking towards our bedroom, he's running. He's like, he knows the dog is coming. And when the dog leaves, I put him on my shoulder and I have to walk around our house about five times just so he can calm down and know that the dog is gone. You know, once he starts wagging his tail, I know he's okay, right? But we would love to, but he's just terrified of dogs. He's a pain in the butt too. How do you get BoxyCharm Premium? There's supposed to be a face palette in the January box. Is there a wait list? Will you get the palette? Um, well, you go onto your account and you subscribe to it. Um, and they'll probably most likely tell you that you're on the wait list. From my experience, when I've done that, I've usually gotten off the wait list. 
Like I, I've never had to wait except for when, when premium first came out, I waited like two months, I think. But, um, since then, if I had canceled and resubscribed, I even found like I would resubscribe the last day of the month and I'd be off the wait list by the second. But I can't guarantee that you're going to get the palette because BoxyCharm can show all kinds of spoilers. There's a chance you might not get one of them, you know? Sylvia, you work 10 hours, but you're off for five days. Yes! Wine first, then you're going to shower, then you're going to wine again. Good for you! Cosmic, you just finished the audiobook for Malcolm Gladwell's newest book, which is amazing. Michelle, um, oh, Andrea's talking, Michelle, wait until tomorrow. Every premium box will get that palette. Oh, good stuff. Okay. What is, what is it? What's the spoilers? I haven't even seen any spoilers for BoxyCharm. Or was that the Huda Beauty? No, that was in December, right? What's coming in January's BoxyCharm? I haven't seen any spoilers whatsoever. I canceled. I think for me, for BoxyCharm, I might wait because somewhere in the middle of the month, if BoxyCharm is going to have add-ons and stuff like that, they'll send you a coupon code where you can get $20 to go towards the add-ons. So I'm thinking if I like what's coming in the box. Oh, that's right. The Ofra. Oh, that reminds me. I had to um, pick a winner, too. Um, the Ofra eyeshadow palette. Now I remember. I need a good lip liner. What am I looking for? This one? No. I'm just looking for a lip liner here. Pharmacy for base box. Pharmacy is always, what is it? What product is it from pharmacy this time? I find pharmacy is always in BoxyCharm. Like every other month. You're not a very good lip liner. Where are you from? You're not very good. Let's try this one. Hold on. I think that's my dollar store one. Um, toner and a face cream. Sylvie asked, what is the best eye cream? You're 54, so good stuff. I love the Caudalie eye cream, uh, but I know that's really expensive. Sylvie, this is what I suggest you do. Go on the Facebook page, maybe like Kiss and Makeup Canada where they sell it. Because I get my eye cream for like five bucks um, and it's really expensive. Now, I refuse to pay any more than like seven dollars for it. Because I know some people will be like, but it's really expensive and you know, this is how much it costs. But this is my favorite one. It's the Caudalie eye cream. Um... Oh, any other ones. Belief has a really good eye cream. That company, Belief. This one here, they have a really good eye cream. I can't remember other eye creams I've tried now because I've been with Caudalie for so long. You're dying to see what the first try box is going to be? It's going to be pretty awesome. There's some really nice stuff. She's got some really, really awesome things coming in that box. Um, and just in general, like coming out, um, next year, what pharmacy is going into base? Uh, I don't know, love. Eye cream is overpriced moisturizer. Oh, this is nice. This is really, mm. so this lipstick is what, um, Allie put in the bag for me. Where did I say this was from? Clinique, I think. God, where's the glasses? I can't tell. This is really nice. Really nice and creamy. Oh, my Lord in heaven. Okay, where are you? Gingerbread. Or was it Lee Swatier? I think this one was Lee Swatier. Really nice and creamy. You like Rodial Vitamin C. It helps with your under eye darkness. I heard a lot of people really like Rodial. Martine said, um, the gel moisturizer and the deep sweep toner. 
Jen Button said, Cos RX snail peptide eye cream is the best. You know, I've heard a lot of people really like that the snail peptide stuff. But that's the one I've been using. I think it all depends, you know. Um, when I first started, like, really using skincare, I used the L'Oreal eye cream, and I thought that was really good. And that had retinol in it. Like, I used all the L'Oreal products. I think it was called the LXR. It had all retinol stuff in it, and that was really good. Are they a guarantee or a variant? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, is that right, Sylvie? Sylvie said her best friend worked for Lise Watier. Very nice lady and very good line of products. I think this is like the only thing I've probably ever tried from them. And this is really, really nice and creamy. I'm going to have to look into their bullet lipsticks because really nice and creamy. Not dry. Like I felt my lips being moisturized as I put it on. Some people say you will get one of them, Martine said. We gotta find out what BoxyCharm says. I guarantee you, um, the the minions will get get it. <clears throat> I've seen in the states they have a few new subscription box come out. Has anyone seen any of them? I see. That's the one thing with me with BoxyCharm. I find that. A lot of their skincare that they have come in boxes, like the pharmacy brand, I can't use. My face breaks out, you know. Um, so, like, I want makeup, you know. And that's one of the reasons why I'm always iffy about resubbing to BoxyCharm is because I'm afraid I'm going to get all the skincare. Hi, Miss Lorinda. How are you? Cosmic, you've been using more tinted balms and lipsticks? I haven't changed. Even with COVID and face mask, I still put on lipstick every day. You watch a few videos of Just Anne and you don't know why we can't get them. Yeah, right? Is there is there some new ones that we can't get? I know there's some new boxes out. I haven't really looked into them. But usually when they're new coming out, the shipping is redonkulous to get here. Usually. Um, and I know Gabby Annie... I think that's her. You know who I'm talking about? I call her Gabby Annie. Oh my God. What is her name again? She posted a few videos of new uh, subscription boxes as well. But every time I go to look at them, like shipping is ridiculous, right? It's going to cost us, you know, $50, $60 for a box that's got, you know, Bella Pierre in it. Do you know what I mean? Beauty creations. And I'm like, no, I'm not paying that much money for that. Oh, I have another question too. Isn't, do you remember last year um, in the new year, Sephora had a sale? Do you guys remember? Or They did, right? Andrea, because you got your metro, metropoli, Metropolis palette. Is there going to be a sale in January on Sephora? I don't even know if it was a sale. I think you got like, like a percentage off or something. Susan, you wear lipstick on your mask? Me too. <laughs> Sylvie, you only wear eye makeup and lip balm with the mask. Did I decide on getting any, any new boxes in the new year? Um, well, there is... Oh, this came from... It's all dirty now, but it came from the Dollar Tree. See, I have a collection now. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree, they have a new color. And my silver one is busted. It's busted. There's a big, it's cracked right down the middle. So I'm hoping they have another silver one. But whenever I go to the Dollar Tree, I always look to see if they got a new mirror. Um, did you guys see, it's been showing on like YouTube but on Facebook, the Vela Villa Box, it starts with a V for Victoria. Villa Box is a candle subscription company. Their ads are everywhere. So I was kind of like looking into that, but I don't know how expensive it's going to be to get here in Canada. 
And besides, I don't know if I want to get like a subscription box for candles. That's going to cost me $40, $50, and I'm legit going to get one candle. That just don't make it. It's not worth it for us, right? Also, so in the last week, I've gotten a um, Bath and Body Works candle, and I got the Charmed Aroma candle, and I've never tried those ever, right? And I found that the Charmed Aroma candle gave off more scent than the Bath and Body Works candle. Now, I don't know if it's because the Bath and Body Works candle I had wasn't like a strong scent. It was like a, I don't know, a raspberry black cherry or something like that. But I had a, like a cinnamon apple candle from Charmed Aroma and that gave off a lot of scent. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to be having a sale and you're selling the you're selling your Metropolis palette. Wow. The silver one is iconic. Yes, I know. I've had that mirror for so long. I don't even remember what I used before I had that mirror. Hi YS, how are you? Cosmic said you want a subscription that has a candle and bath products. I think there are some out there actually. Um I just know like here in Canada, it's just so expensive. If you go on my subscription addiction, and FYI, I know I said this before, but if you're going to get a subscription from one of those like my subscription addiction or Crate Joy, go through my subscription addiction because Crate Joy charges the owners of these companies an insane amount of money. Um, whereas my subscription addiction doesn't. So if you were going to go and subscribe to a box, and, you know, both of the boxes are on one of those websites. My subscription addiction is so much more nicer to the owners. And, you know, some of these boxes are started by somebody at home. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a big company, right? So do I, YS. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. That's my goal for the end of 2021 is to get to 2K. But it's really hard. This year's... Bath and Body Works candle sale got you in trouble. <laughs> My niece said the same thing. She said she bought like 12 candles or something like that. Um, oh, and you're, you're selling the Love Palette and the Sunset Palette. Wow, Andrea. I really want the Biba Palette. I got, um, so my niece and nephew gave me a $100 Sephora gift card for Christmas. And I'm, I really want the Biba Palette. So I'm hoping like there's going to be a sale eventually. I think what I'm going to do, I'm trying to, you know, I might wait until maybe the middle of the year or maybe in August when they have their sale again, where I can get like 25% off and I'm going to build up my points and hope to be able to get, you know, where you get, I think it's, if you get 500 points, you get $5 off. So if, if you had say 1500 points, do you get $15 off? Because if that's the case, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just wait. And then maybe in August, if I got enough points where I can get some money off and use my gift card, I can probably get it for cheaper if you're able to do that. Just Ann opened so many boxes, it's hard to keep up. Yeah, she's based in the U.S. Um, some do ship, though. Because usually when I, Sylvie, when I see a new box, if Just Ann unboxed it or Gabby, Abby, um, I always go in because they always have their website below. So I'll go in and check and see, check out the box and see if they do ship to Canada. It's just a lot of them. Shipping is, is just insane. It's like 20 bucks or more. It's crazy. You came home with 10 candles. The, the three wick candles, yes. Martine said, Bath and Body Works will get a Canadian website. Oh, interesting, okay. I've never been on the website. I'm so cheap. <laughs> when it, I love candles, but I will go and get the wax melts at Walmart. And I find that they smell so much stronger than candles sometimes. But the Charmed Aroma one, I found that one was really strong. Um, but maybe it was just the scent that I had from the Bath and Body Works as well, right? That I didn't find that strong. Yes, the Vela box. 
That's it. That's a subscription. Have you guys seen that? It's like all over Facebook and it's all over YouTube. Like the commercials are everywhere. I wonder how much it is, like how much shipping would be. Why I said, trust me, you would be in, oh, thank you. Mid-year be telling us that your goal is to reach 2.5. Oh, it's, it's tough. Like I've had the channel now. Well, I really only started getting series with my channel. Um, so I think I've had it three years, but it was in my second year when I started, you know, posting almost every day. Has anyone checked out cheekybeauty.ca? They do a sub box. I think they're new. Um, I looked at them, Sandra, but I, I wasn't too sure about the brands that they had. Because one of them kind of looked like, you know, something that I can find off of Amazon or Wish. So I wasn't too sure about it, but the brands that they have or where, you know, their stuff is coming from. It's a fantastic palette. Your favorite one. Oh, so you have the Biba? Oh, I really want that one. Yes, I did. I burned my arm on the stove when I was making the turkey Christmas Day. Oh my goodness. So yeah, Christmas day, I woke up with a sty and I was talking to my optometrist, sent him a picture and he thinks what did whatever with my eye was because of that mascara. Cause he's like, you know, did you use anything? And I'm like, I used a mascara that I bought from a Facebook page that I thought was brand new, never opened, never used. And he said, well, that's what it was then. So that's what he said. Anyway, it's gone away now because I went a couple days and didn't wear makeup. Um, it's, oh, do you hear the fireworks? There's still like a little, a little tiny bit of a dot there, but it's not like it was. True North subscription box has a candle subscription box option. Okay. The Vela box does not ship to Canada. Thank you, Sylvie. Don't forget to hit the like button, everybody. How much is that um, candle subscription box, Leah? Is it expensive? Champagne toast and mahogany teak wood. Ooh. High intensity. Are you two all-time favorite? Oh, that sounds really nice. Oh, thank you, Sylvie. Um, there are fireworks going off here. Yes, here too. And... Just before I came live, if you go out on my patio, they were like directly right in front of us. People are still celebrating. Can you imagine? <laughs> like, I wonder if they're having a big old party. What's it like around your neighborhood? Is anybody having any parties? Can you see like a lot of traffic, a lot of cars parked by somebody's house? Does anybody have the Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy Eyeshadow Palette in Submersive, the small one? It's out of stock at the website. YS is asking. Totally dead in your neighborhood, Cosmic? I'm looking for a blush. I got a new blush the other day. Um, it was very pigmented. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, maybe I'll just use this one then. That we got from Tribe. I can't find it. Where was that little blush? Oh, um, don't forget, Sunday, I'm starting the Shop My Stash videos. So, for those of you who want to, you know, do it as well. So, I'm thinking what I'm going to do, because I have so many blushes, bronzers, highlights, eyeshadow palettes, mascaras, foundations. So, I'm going to be using my journal that I got in my brown paper packages. Thank you, Miss Sandra. And on Sunday is gonna be my first video and I'm gonna do it every Sunday. So over the weekend, I'm gonna take out every blush I have and every <laughs> mascara and every bronzer and every eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna put the name of it on a little piece of paper. And then I'm gonna put them all in an Ipsy bag, one for blush, one for bronzer, one for highlight, etc. You get it, right? So on Sundays, I'm going to pick out a foundation to wear all week, 
an eyeshadow palette to wear all week, you know, con continuing on with a blush or bronze or highlight. And I want to do that every Sunday for all of 2021 because I have so much and we're going to get more. So every time we get a bag where we get a new blush, I'm going to write that name down on a little piece of paper and stick it into the blush bag because we get so much. Like there's so much that I have that's not being used um, because it's not directly in front of me. So I'm thinking that's why I'm starting to do that on Sunday. So it's a good way for us to use up our products. I mean, we're not going to use up our products, but I mean, I guarantee you that I probably get a blush or a bronzer or an eyeshadow palette that I probably haven't touched in like 11 months, you know, and I'm only choosing one. I'm not going to choose more than one. I'm going to choose one foundation to use that whole week, one blush, one bronzer. At least I'll get some kind of, you know, I'll use some of it. You know what I mean? I'm definitely not going to hit pan. And then I was thinking, you know, because I have so many blush, bronzers, and highlights, and maybe like, I don't know, 10 foundation, I'll, I'll run out of rotation of foundation. I'll just put them all back and do all the same thing. You know what I mean? Um, and when I run out of the rotation of, you know, say eyeshadow palettes, I'll just put the names all back in the bag and just continue over kind of. So I'm thinking that's like the best idea because if you get subscription boxes, we have so much, you know, and so much is sitting in the drawer not being used. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do every Sunday. So if you want to join me on Sundays, grab a notebook and then, you know, like I'll write down the first week of January. I, I picked out L'Oreal True Match and Ofra Blush and do it that way. Okay, I'm reading. Andrea said, it's dead in your neighborhood, but lots of fireworks. Okay. Janet said, nothing here, no fireworks, no cars going by, nothing. It's black. <laughs> it, there's nothing happening. Susan, your candles are all battery operated. <laughs> Cute. Kelly said, it's dead there too, but it's only 7 o'clock. No action over in Sylvie's part of the woods. No one's partying on Martine Street. Oh, that's cute. Just a Cutie is going to start a YouTube channel this year. It's going to be a little bit controversial, but oh, well, you know what? Girl, listen, do whatever. Everything is controversial these days. Oh, my God, everything. You know, I legit said to Ian the other day that if I knew what the world was going to be like 14 years ago, I don't think I would have had kids, honest to God, because it's, it's messed up. I just think so many things are messed up. Um, and that, yeah, that's just me. I just think so many things are messed up. I don't think I would have had kids because it's crazy. Um, Michelle, you want to get the Natasha Denona gold eyeshadow palette from Sephora. I have the gold mini. Did you know that there was a mini or do I still have it? I think there was a Natasha Denona mini gold palette based on the big gold palette. You'll be watching on Sundays. Uh, Kazakh said you have every blush color out there, but you're still eyeing more, right? I love blush. Um, oh, just a cutie saying thanks, Andrea. You're very into politics and you just want to inform people on things. And you know, you do what you like, you know what I mean? And everything is controversial, especially if it's going to be politics is like, you know, that's what they say. Don't talk about politics or religion. You know what I mean? So, um, girl, I say go for it, you know? Kelly Don, you like controversies? What's your channel going to inform us about? Leah said, you think it's $39, but you're not sure the frequency and everything it includes. Okay. And that's for the, the candle box, right? The Canadian one. I don't like, for me personally, I don't like soy candles. Every soy candle I've ever had, I found the smell was really, really weak. Like, really weak. I like a strong smelling candle. Okay, uh, where am I? Cosmic, you want the purple Fenty Cream blush and a couple more colors in Rare Beauty. 
Oh, Janet, you're going to do it too. You think it's a great idea? Right? It's very quiet where Tammy is. Tammy, you're really quiet, Tammy. Sandra said it's quiet there. They'll, yeah, there's probably most likely going to be fireworks at midnight and your dogs will bark. Yes, dogs hate fireworks. Jules, it was lit, the very, it was on my eyeball. That was what was weird about it. It wasn't like on my lid or on my lower lid. It's, it's on my actual eyeball, like right here in my eyeball. Um, and even my optometrist was saying it's a weird spot to get it, right? Because most people get it on their lid. But yeah, he said it was because of the makeup. So, and I'm a little bit bummed because this person I order off all the time. I've never had any issues with any of the mascaras. But I don't know, maybe I should have known because it didn't come in a box and, you know. But... Or, you know, maybe she grabbed it from somebody else off another Facebook page, thought it was new. Um, it's the mini. That's the only one you can afford. Yes, the mini is great. I think I have it, or I used to. Let me see here. So I have the Sunset. I have the Glam. No, I don't. I think I used to but I don't anymore. And there's the nude palette. And there's that one. You know what? I think I might try the... I don't know. I don't know which one. I was going to try a Natasha Denona, but like, they're pretty much all nudes. <laughs> um, Cosmic, you're putting together a home office. You're getting a new computer built. Good for you. And you're going to be starting either a podcast or a YouTube channel. And it's going to be based on science. Good for you. Lorinda wants to know, what are the girls and my nephew doing to ring in the new year? No, Ian's not working. So Ian and my nephew are watching, well, they were watching the hockey game. Um, oh, this is really heavy on my head. They were watching a hockey game. I don't know if it's over yet or not. The Can Canadian Juniors game. Um, and then they were watching... They're binge watching the last season of Wentworth all day. It's now on Netflix, so they're watching that all day. And we'll probably like put on, you know, that ball dropping New York City, whatever, or Toronto, one of them, anyways, and do the countdown and then probably go to bed. Um, that's pretty much it. Might play a game of Monopoly. We usually play a game or something with the kids. Um, you're welcome, Leah. Dinner is ready. Spaghetti and meatballs. Happy New Year, sweetheart. Look, did you hear that? They're still going off, the fireworks. Um, okay, you're talking about podcasts. I've never, ever seen a podcast. Wentworth, right? Anybody watch Wentworth? If you don't and you're looking for a good show to watch, it's so good. It is so freaking good. Janet said you'll be asleep long before midnight. You're having a hard time staying awake now, <laughs> right? I literally was like that 30 minutes before I came on, like going, oh my God, I can go to bed. Did a new season of Wentworth start on Netflix? Yes, it did. So the, the last season, it ended in Australia, I don't know, in August, I think it was maybe. Did you hear that? <laughs> Um, and it's now on uh, Canadian, right? Yeah, it's now on the Canadian Netflix. My nephew, I, I watched one episode a while ago uh, because I would go on Flix tour to watch it, but the whole season is there now. Hi, Gladys. Your time has been all over the place. You missed seeing my videos. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. I know you started a new job, right? Which, what do I, you know what? Maybe I'm going to put on the palette that we got in our boxy charm. Legit, this is the only palette I think that I've liked that I've ever gotten in boxy charm. Um, no, I've never list. I, I never, I don't think I've, wait a minute. Um, 
Ryan, you know Shane Dawson's fiance Ryan? Is that what you call a podcast? Him and the girl sit down and have a chat? Is that a podcast? Please party on your eyelids with sparkles. With sparkles. Oh, you want me to put sparkles on? Oh, I don't know about glitter. Or is there a certain shade you want me to wear? Yes, Lorinda said. Okay, so yeah, so then, yeah, I've, I've watched those. I watched him. But there's not many that I really, um, you guess you can call it a podcast thing? Okay, that's what Cosmic said. Um, so I watched that, but other than that, I don't think I've ever watched a podcast. And I know that um, James and Robert do podcasts, and I don't think I've ever caught any one of those either. Is that where you, you listen to them, but you don't see them? It's just the French. Shimmers. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Actually, you know what? I got a beautiful shimmer. This one here from IBY is gorgeous. Um, yeah, so like the ones where you don't see, because I know Spotify has those, right? Where you can just stick on a podcast on Spotify. I, they're not really my jam. I, I think I'd rather see them. It's 10 p.m. there for Sandra. She's not going to make it to midnight either. Tons of fantastic podcasts on Spotify, audio. Yeah, that's not really my jam. I'm not, I just, I, I tried it before. I don't, it reminds me of school. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> of school, of putting on headphones when I was in university and when I'd record the professor. <laughs> I'm just like, no. <laughs> I need to see them. I like to see people. Janet is laying in bed all cozy and it's not healthy, right? I would be fast asleep, I swear to God. If I were lying in bed now watching this video, I would have been passed out a long time ago. I can't watch my videos because I find the moment when I try to like not edit my videos because I don't know how to edit them. I know how to like put in words and pictures now, I want to figure out how to put in videos and those memes. Um, I want to figure out how to do that. But I find when I have to sit down and do that, I get real, I fall asleep. Like I start nodding off. I just find I put myself to sleep. I bore myself out. I don't know how you guys don't fall asleep listening to me. But I tell you, if I were lying in my bed right now listening to this live, I'd be passed out all warm and snugly. Sandra's, she got her PJs on on the couch with dogs and a blanket. Ooh la la, the eyeshadow. Okay, I fixed this primer. Oh my God, I tried to do an eyeshadow look today. And I put this um, eye base on, the Gerard Cosmetics one. And I put way too much on my brush. And I had it all down here. And it's too bright. I mean, you can use it as a concealer. But it was way too bright. What a mess I had my eyes in. Right. All right, that's that's done. Um, if you want to give podcasts another try, check out Revisionist History. Malcolm is a good storyteller. I want to try um, the auto books. Does anyone anyone ever tried auto books? See, I still think I would fall asleep. I find um, if I if I can't sleep, I'll go on Netflix and you know the the documentaries about castles and stuff and that guy, that English man who does all the talking in those documentaries. Girl, if you can't fall asleep, just listen to that. You're out like a light. I find for me, I don't know. I need to see, because if I don't, then I'm sleeping. And I, yeah, the same thing with an audio book. I wanted to try it, but I'm like, I think I would fall asleep. I mean, just getting on the bus, 
I don't know anybody else, but when I'm on a bus, I can fall asleep on a bus. Well, you're not really like in a dead sleep, but kind of dozing off. Um, Martine, you tried an audiobook once. You could not memorize anything they were saying. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm old school. You know, if I have to memorize something, you got to highlight it and write it out three or four times. I should do a meetup. That would be nice and record it so we can post it. Hopefully, I'd love to do that. When this COVID business is over, I think we're going to have another one on our Facebook page. We had one, was it last summer we had one? Not the summer gone. The summer before? Did you guys, anyone here when we met at um, Square One, when did we do that from the Facebook page? Do you guys remember? I can't freaking remember. Was I thought for some reason I thought it was in the year 2020, but no, it was in the year 2019. So once all this COVID nonsense is over, we're definitely going to have another meetup somewhere. You got the entire collection of Sherlock Holmes. Did you guys watch Sherlock Holmes on Netflix? That was really good. I enjoyed that. Gladys, same with you. You're visual. Otherwise, you just fall asleep. <laughs> and it's good for insomnia, right? Podcast is just radio style. So sometimes you can see them and it's like they're in a studio recording room. But yeah, majority of the time you can't. <clears throat> it was Christmas time. Was it? Um, well, no, the first time we met was Christmas time. It was after Christmas. And we met for a potluck at um, Cynthia's house. And then the second time we met was at Square One. We all went out for dinner. And then we all went down to Sephora. And there was Mac there and Morphe was there. Um, and I think that was in 2019. And I think it was nice. It was probably like May, June, I think. Something like that. The weather was really nice. Um, but yeah, and then I think we were going to meet again in... We were talking in January of 2020 um, when I got back from Jamaica, remember? And then, because we were going to like, we were talking about renting a hotel where there was a, a stove and stuff. And then everyone would come with your PJs on and we'd do face masks and makeup and, you know, have some drinks if you wanted to. And then COVID was happening, so we couldn't do anything. Three audible credits and you can't decide on your next books. Try Steve Barry if you've never read him. I love Steve Barry. Yes, and we were going to, yeah, we were planning a trip to Windsor. Because is where is London? Is London around Windsor? So great to do, meet all the ladies. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh my God, I love your honesty, Lisa. Okay. Thank you. One and a half hours away. Okay, yeah, because I think we were planning a trip because there's a lot of people on our Facebook page, right, that um, live within a few hours of that area. Uh, about an hour away, we could double on rooms at the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, so what our plan was that if we were going to do like the hotel potluck thingy, um, everyone would kind of like chip in to book the big hotel room with, you know, a kitchen and the stove. And Veronica and I were actually looking at some places that are almost like an apartment that you can book for a night kind of thing, right? And for those who were coming out of town, they could have stayed there, you know, and the ones living in Toronto could have just went home. And, oh, Miss Kelly, all alone in the Alberta boonies. Girl, I don't know how you do it up there with all that cold. It would be awesome, though, yes. Cosmo said you're looking for... It was really good. All about New Amsterdam. I love history. I love ancient history. 
History was one of my good subjects in school. When I was in high school, I had this math teacher and he was just, oh my God, he was so dorky, like just really dorky. And um, I was a bit of, um, well, I wasn't a bad student, but I would have to bring the attendance around every morning. So I would leave class at like 10 o'clock and um, go get the attendance sheets from all of the teachers and bring it down to the office. And in the afternoons, around quarter after one, I would go and pick them all up and bring them down to the office. So I always had math in the afternoon, like first class. So I'd stroll into my math class. Oh my God, Mr. Cooper's class. I would stroll into his class at like quarter after one, 20 after one. And he'd be like, where you been? I'm like, oh, I was out for a stroll. But anyways, I need your attendance now. And I'm like, grab the attendance, get all the other attendance. So yeah, when I got back to his class, I probably had 15 minutes left. So yeah, that wasn't very good, right? But I loved history. You got more interested in history after starting genealogy. Gen uh, I know how to say that word. I just don't want to say it, okay? I would love to know... Um, I wanted to actually to do that this year. I was telling Ian I wanted it for our Christmas gift, but we never got it. Um, was that DNA test, um, Ancestry.com. I think that's pretty cool, you know, to see where you come from and stuff. Then a part of me wanted to take the test and get my sisters and brothers to take the test because I'm like, I know we're not related. <laughs> I know I was switched at birth. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? Has anyone watched those videos on YouTube of people who actually did like the ancestry and me type test and comes to find out that, oh, well, you know, that's not your mama or that's not your daddy. You know, have you seen that? I remember watching one of them and it's how they, um, oh, how they caught a killer or something like that. Somebody was out raping people, a really nasty man. I can't remember how the story went. But anyway, they caught a killer through it. Um, I don't think the, kill the killer didn't submit his DNA. But, I don't know, a member of the family did or something like that. I can't remember how it went, so don't quote me. You like dinner at square one? Where do you, I can't remember. Do anyone know what restaurant we went to? I can't remember. It's such a long time ago. DNA testing really only works in conjunction with paper genealogy. It's a big limitation. Because I, I see that people do the like the Ancestry.com thing and then they send it off as well to, um, I don't know, DNA123 or something like that. But I think it's pretty cool. I think that'd be interesting, especially to find out like what part of the world you're from. We were having a conversation about that the other day with Ian's best friend and he didn't believe <laughs> some of the things that we were saying, like there could be some white people and in their DNA, you know, um, it says you have some Spanish in you, you know what I mean? He's like, no, no, that's not right. And I'm like, yeah, like we've seen it. Like there's videos of, you know, some people who think they're straight Irish and no, you're not, you're not straight Irish. You know, you have some Spanish in you somewhere along the way or, so I think that's pretty interesting the way they do it. Golden State Killer, is that what it was, Kelly Dawn? The hotel sleepover sounds awesome. Yes, just a cutie. Windsor is a little bit farther from London. London, Windsor, then Detroit. Oh, so we'll do London, Windsor, Detroit, and then Alta. <laughs> the, the, the ultimate goal is to get to Alta. You've gone Ancestry and you have those results uploaded to GED match to cross match with people of other sites. Boyfriend, Michelle said her boyfriend and you, you did 23 and Me a few years ago. Yes, Sandra. You're in Nova Scotia. Well, you can always come for a visit. I know there's a few girls in Nova Scotia. If I ever decide to drive back home again when it's safe to do so, 
I'd like to do that. I'd like to have a stopover because I know that there's a lot of subscribers in Nova Scotia. Janet says you couldn't travel that far, you don't think, but you would have loved to. Janet, where do you live? Wouldn't it be nice, though? I know there's some girls who live around the Niagara Falls area as well, and we were planning a trip there. And then freaking COVID happened. You have to keep in mind that they are comparing DNA to modern reference groups, so their reliability limitations. Consider migrations and changing borders after results. Yeah. Um, Sylvie said you're adopted. You don't know who you are, but you're okay with that. Just a little weird and crazy. You know, um, so I'm on a Facebook page uh, from Newfoundland, and a lot of people go there. Uh, they're looking for their parents, right? Uh, um, a lot of adopted out people. And a lot of them have found them. I keep on reading it over and over to do your DNA. That's if you wanted to know to, you know, send in your DNA to one of those places. That's if you wanted to know. Um, what's, so 23andMe, that's another one of those places like um, Ancestry.com, I believe. Diana's in New Brunswick, and <laughs> you can fly together, that's right. Oh, that's right, too, Janet. Kawartha Lakes near Lindsay and the Bob Cajun. Tammy said, Happy New Year. Everyone, you got to go. The kids are waiting for you to make snacks and bring in the New Year together. Woohoo! Happy New Year, Tammy. When you do paper genealogy, you can find really fascinating stories. You put together a whole site about some of the things you found. Interesting. We tried um, years ago, our family, because my dad's, my dad's um, grandmother, um, her line, she's an Indian, a Newfoundland Indian, and we tried so hard to get the paperwork and stuff for the status. Um, I don't look like anything like my dad. My sister and my brother do. Um, I look like my mom and back then my grandmother would never write her um, where she was from like her heritage because if you did she was terrified that somebody would take the kids away and the judgment there was um, it's just terrible the way Canadian you know governments treated um, Native Indians was brutal so we couldn't find anything like, not enough for the government to accept it. We're going kind of peachy up here today. What is everyone's background here? Sandra said you were first 25% at risk for haunting. Oh, Huntington's to get DNA testing in Nova Scotia 25 years ago. Oh, wow. Oh, good for you, Sandra. Michelle said 23andMe is a DNA thing. You have to put saliva in a bottle, send it in. Your background was all Western European, British, Irish, and Scottish. No surprises. Yeah. I think that would be the same for me. And um, been a bit of Native Indian on my dad's side. But what about everybody else? Like, what do you think you're, if you know, what's your background? I just find it interesting, you know, remember seeing those videos on YouTube when people were like, I am 100% like England all the way, you're 100% Irish. And then it came back and was like, no, you're not. But then again, that's your DNA. And it's crazy, right? Because our DNA comes from a grandmother, you know, born hundreds of years ago. Like that's insane, right? When you think about it. Hi, Jody Lynn. Uh, most likely, Janet, um, if you were born in Newfoundland, so most likely you got Irish and Scottish in you. Do you know what your background is? 
I think my dad's side is English and my mom's side is Irish, I think. But I'd like for it to be confirmed. Oh, part of my dad's side is English. His mom's side, his dad's side, like I said, his grandmother was um, a native Indian. We trace back my dad's side to 1786. So my last name, the first man who went to Newfoundland with my last name, my great, 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 whatever grandfather, he married um, a native Indian back in 1746, something like that. And her name was Keziah Barefoot. How cool is that? Um, I remember telling Ian, I, I wanted to name, if we had another kid and it was a girl, I was going to name her Keziah. Diana, do you know your background though? Okay, let me see. Um, Lorinda, your mama was from Nova Scotia and your father from Portugal. So Lorinda, if your mom was from Nova Scotia, do you think you're, um, did you find out it was like English, Irish, Scottish? Andrea said French Canadian with some native Indian. Sylvie said you found your mom, but she was not okay with it. It's all Sylvie. That's so sad. That is so sad when you see it. When you hear of those things. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure everyone's got a story and stuff like that, but that must have been awful for you. You know, it had to be. My heart is going out to you. I'm sending you a big hug. I know you say you're okay with it and stuff. But I, I'm going to send you a big hug because, I, you know, I just feel for you. That's just sad. Um, big hug, Sylvie. Kazakh, you're mostly British, Scottish, Welch, and Dutch. Martine is the same as Andrea. Kelly Don. Okay, Kelly, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that word. Inuvialit. No, it's not. In Inuvialuit. I'm not going to say it right. Irish, Cree, and French, <laughs> aka Heinz 57. <laughs> Mostly British for you, Diana. Because, um, like Newfoundland, I know we have a lot of Scottish and Irish and English there, but we also have like French. Um, we also have some uh, colonies that was made from, you know, people came from Spain. So we have some French places in Newfoundland, some Spanish places in Newfoundland. Sundress, um, you're French Canadian as well. Jody said, you're on Ancestry, you love it. You log on once a week to build your family tree. I really wanna do that. I think that'd be so cool. Cosmic, you trace, trace your British and Scottish lines around seven generation. Your Dutch line, you have 20 generations. I think that is so cool. I would, I, I find it hard on my mom's side, really hard on my mom's side to get anything. Uh, Janet, for sure you're Irish, your mom's maiden. Oh, for sure you're, you are straight out Irish, Janet. Callahan, that's the same with Ian. His last name is McCabe, S straight Irish. They have their, um, family line hit on his dad's side but the whole family tree is done like on wood and it's all you know precise so he knows exactly uh, I think they came from Cork I think that's where his family came from like the one who left to come to Canada um, many 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 moons ago if the end goal is Alta when we might as well go to Niagara Falls while we're at it <laughs> because Detroit can get scary <laughs> true Oh, I remember when we drove through the States and we went down through Detroit and it was like, I don't know, 1130 at night and we had to get gas and pulled in somewhere off a highway. And it was kind of scary. It, it was kind of scary. You don't know, right? I always say to Ian too, because you know all those movies where they show people taking the back roads? You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, don't take any back roads because we can be on a back road where the town is killing people. Like, there's so many scary horror movies like that, you know? Um, and we had the GPS that we had at the time. We ended up taking a whole bunch of back roads. We made it in good time when we went down to Georgia. 
No, it wasn't Georgia. Where did we go? South Carolina. That famous beach. What is it called? I can't remember. But, yeah. Because you just never know, right? And I think movies, if you watch any kind of scary movie about people traveling and stuff, um, they make it worse. Uh, let me see. Uh, Scottish for Lorinda. That's on me at Sylvie, not you. Okay, I did not say that. I don't, I'm missing something. Just Cutie said you love Nova Scotia. You go via railroad and the ferry. Ice cream and the lobsters there is absolutely to die for. Um, born and lived in Nova Scotia, said Sandra. Fairly sure a bit of English and Scottish. Cow's ice cream. I've never tried that before. Do you remember that um, show... Oh my God, it was kind of like diners, drive-ins, and dives, but it was the Canadian version. They went and did a show where they went to Nova Scotia, and there was this place that they showed where you can get like seafood. Oh my God, I want to go so bad. I think it was in Halifax. Detroit isn't that bad, said Jen Button. <laughs> I just only ever drove through it. I don't know anything. We never stayed in Detroit. Only drove there. Drove through it. On our way to somewhere warm. I can't wait. I'm telling you. When that border opens, I can't wait. 70% from Great Britain. 16% Ireland. Scotland, Wales. And your husband's family is from Cork as well. Oh, that's cool, Diana. Yes, Jody. Myrtle Beach. That's the name of it. Oh, my God. So yeah, we went um, we went there. Originally, we we're only supposed to stay for like three days, and I think we ended up staying for like six, something like that. And like I paid two hundred bucks the whole time, the whole stay, because we went on a timeshare, and um, I didn't even have to go to the timeshare meeting. Like it, everything worked out so wonderfully. We did the same thing too when we went to um, Florida to Disneyland. We stayed at. The resort was called the Orange, God, Orange Something Resort. And it had like um, a 1,300 foot lazy river. It had some uh, water slides. And our condo was amazing in both places. It had everything you needed. We would just bring our food, brought our toiletry, stuff like that. But if I don't know if you guys ever done it like a timeshare thingy where you have to go to the meeting, but you get like the place for free kind of. Um, you, you just have to know to say no, like you have to be tough and say no, right? But if you can do that, I think it's well worth it. Okay. You're going to take two and a half hours of my time to try to convince me to join this. And I'm going to say no the entire time. And after two and a half hours, you're going to give me $250 American Express card and my room is free for three, four days. I'm in. Um, but you just got to know to say, like, you have to be really tough to say no. Because they're really, really tough on you to try to sell. But Ian and I have done a few now that we're like, yeah, we, no problem. We both say no. Ian's the one, he'll pretend that he's like interested and stuff. I'm like, no, no, I lost my job. Nope, not happening. Your name is Cox English and your mother was a McCullo, McCulloch, McCulloch, Scottish. Yes, and there's a lot of Scottish in Nova Scotia. Detroit isn't it itself can be scary, but the suburbs aren't. I've never been, I, but like I said, we've only dr driven through there. Just a cutie Niagara Falls would be great. Sundress is a mistake with spelling. Oh, okay. You've got to eat here. Yes, that's what it was called. You've got to eat here. Hi, Lemon Drop. Hi, Sarah. 
Oh wow, that's awful, Lemon Drop. We've done a couple. Um, we we've done a couple. I I must have missed. I must have missed something, Andrea. They must have said something. Andrea's on the job. But yeah, we've done a couple of timeshares, and I think that's the thing. Like, you just got to know to go in and say no. You know what I mean? Um, but they are really tough. If you can't say no, then you're screwed. You know, sign up to that, and you're, you're going to go bankrupt. Because I've heard some awful stories about timeshares. I mean, some people love it. Um, Ian's brother's wife, her parents have done timeshares, you know, for years. They're like 80 years old, and I think they've done timeshares for like 45 years or something, and they love it. But I'm like, no, I'll just go to your meetings, and you can give me my whole trip for free, and we just got to pay for the gas and the food, and it all works out. No problem, Lemon Drop. Kate Breton is beautiful, but the economy struggles. Yes. You're dying to go back to Arizona and New York City. I cannot wait to cross that border. I love going to the States. I think it's one of my favorite, you know, I love going away to a beach and stuff like that. But I love going um, on vacation to the States. It's one of the things I wanted to do. Actually, it was supposed to be the summer gone. Ian and I were discussing if he was able to get the time off work, which he can if he can get those holidays to take the month off and get one of those pop-up trailers. Do you guys remember saying me saying this? And I wanted to take the girls on, like, I called it maybe the last vacation we would share with Savannah because she's 13 now and just drive down through the States and stop at different parks and stuff like that. I love going to the States. Oh, my God, the food is amazing and cheap. Our money is crap. I'm actually, I'm getting off very soon, Sarah, love. Been that way your whole life for sure. You have cousins still there, Lorinda said. Hi, Teresa. Happy New Year. Yeah, I'm getting off very soon because I find with YouTube, once I'm on for two hours, they start cutting off the first part of my video. Um, so it's not going to be good for the people in the replay. Jen said, going to Boston in two weeks to move your son back into college. Oh, you're going to eat lobster. Oh, girl. Oh, you're so lucky. Jody, you live... 20 minutes from Niagara Falls, New York, and the outlet mall at the border has been so dead since no Canadians can come over. It's usually so busy. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait. I am telling you, once that border opens, we're gone. I don't know where we're going. Even if we ju I just take a trip to Niagara Falls. You know, I already told Ian, when the border opens, we're going. Even if it's just Niagara Falls, we'll get a hotel on Groupon, you know, um, and there's always something extra. Oh, by the way, my Christmas gift from my boss, I forgot to tell you guys this. She gave me, um, a gift card for Niagara Falls that we can use. I think there's some hotels that I can use it on, restaurants, different places like the Hershey's Chocolate Factory, whatever. So we obviously can't use it because everything is shut down. So we're thinking like maybe March break, if Niagara Falls is open then, we would go. But I'm like, I don't know. I think we should. Well, I can only use it on the Canadian side, though. That's what sucks. Crackers. I can't wait to go back to the States. Can't wait. All those restaurants. Oh, my Lord in heaven. I don't think I would ever cook. If I lived in the United States, I don't think I'd ever cook because you got so many good fast food places. You'll come and say hello. Yes, Jody. That would be awesome. Cosmic said you're going to be so happy when your second boss moves back to Canada next year. He's going to be in PEI now. Oh, so you have to go an excuse to go back to the Maritimes. Stay at the Seneca Resort and Casino. Is it on Groupon? Because usually when we go to Niagara Falls, I always get like my hotel from Groupon because then they always come with the coupons and stuff like that. Um, 
And like, we have stayed at like the five star hotels at Niagara Falls. And there's one, it's called, it used to be called the Michael's Inn, St. Michael's Inn. And I think now it's like a travel lodge. But we went with my mom once. We stayed for like three days. And the first two hotels I booked were like crazy expensive, five star hotels. And I legit thought they were crap, absolute crap. Smelled like a sewer. You couldn't move in the bedroom. They were so small. And you're paying over 200 bucks a night for it. And on the third night, um, we went to this St. Michael's Inn, which is now called a travel lodge. And oh my God, what a difference. We walked in. This room was huge, beautiful balcony. Our view was the river, like not the falls, but the actual river. And so now every time we go to Niagara Falls, that's where I go. We go to the, it's called travel lodge now. Um, they treat you so nice and the rooms are huge. So we always go there. I get it on Groupon. You know, we can, I just looked the other day, we can get it for like 75 bucks with taxes, you know, a night, right? So we can always do that. I just don't think, my God, when do you think the border is going to open? I think it's going to be, I don't know, 2022 before that border opens. It's going to be a long time. My makeup is done, everybody. Uh-oh, I got 5% battery, guys. Holy cow. Okay. <clears throat> Good night, Miss Lorinda. Happy New Year. Yes, Jody, I'll certainly look into it, sweetheart. Um, Sandra's got to go too. You're having trouble keeping your eyes open. Happy New Year, Miss Sandra. Last time you stayed in a hotel, you traveled cheap and stayed at hostels. Mm -hmm. I would have done that when I didn't have kids for sure. Um, I, I've done that when I didn't have kids. I lived in Ireland in a hostel for two months. Um, Kelly Dawn said, you're out too, feeling sleepy, and you want a bubble bath. Happy New Year, says Jen. Janet says, Happy New Year. Good night. Okay, everybody, I'm going to say good night too because I legit told me it just went dark. You know, when your phone goes dark and tells you you got 5% left, it just happened. So I hope everyone has a wonderful New Year. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to make a video using um this stuff i got from ipsy maybe just playing with some makeup because obviously there's no mail because it's i don't know new year's day that's why hopefully we all get our boxes come next week um uh, for those of you still waiting and um right sunday don't forget sunday shop your stash get your notebooks ready because we really got to use some of this makeup that we have sitting in drawers that we forgot about so over the weekend if you're game Organize all your stuff, get all of your names of your blushes, your bronzers, your foundations, your palettes, whatever you got. Get everything ready and um, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's play with the makeup we got. All right. Okay, everybody, happy new year. Love you. Bye. I'd sing that new year song, but I don't know how it goes. Old Tide Saints or something.